White people, please beat your kids. I'll tell you why else, because when I was growing up, right, I grew up around a lot of black people, which was fine, because the black people never picked on me. White kids, not so friendly back then. But every now and then, a white kid would come and hang out with us, and we were like, wow, a white kid! I've heard so much about you! And here's where the problem is. When a white kid would hang out with us, we'd want to be like the white kid. We would want to start to do everything like the white kid. We wanted to copy that white kid so much. And the problem is, is when we would start taking that white kid's advice on how to deal with our parents. That'll get you friggin' murdered, man. I remember hanging around this one little white boy, Ryan, when I was 10 years old. I went to his house after school one day, right? His parents never beat him, and they never even yelled at him. He could do anything he wanted, and nothing was going to happen to him. But he was an angry kid. He walked into his house after school, and his mom goes, Ryan, go clean your room. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch! <laughs> his mom goes, what am I going to do with him? I go, Ryan, you can't talk to your mom like that. Yes, I can. She's a jackass. Don't say that, man. She'll hit you. No, she won't. She's not allowed to. What the hell are you talking about, man? My parents hit me. Yeah, well, next time they try it, you tell them to fuck off. Are you sure? <laughs> Trust me, it works for me. So I went home. For the last time. I walked in the house, my dad goes, Russell, come and do the dishes. Fuck you, dad. What the hell did you say to me? Do I look like Ryan's mom? Somebody gonna get a hurt real bad. I saw that little brat Ryan at school a few days later. I was like, yo, your little plan almost got me killed. He goes, oh, sorry, dude. I forgot to tell you the other part. If he's still gonna hit you, threaten to phone children's aid. Why? Because if you phone Children's Aid, they'll come and take your dad away, and he'll get in trouble. You won't even have to call. Just pretend it'll scare the crap out of him. You're 10 years old, you figure out how to scare the crap out of your dad? That's like finding kryptonite. I thought I'd try it. I was about to get my next beating, I stopped my dad, I go, DON'T DO IT! I'll phone Children's Aid. You ever had your parents call your bluff? <laughs> You'll do what? <laughs> I'll phone children's aid. Is that right? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Well, let me get you the phone, tough guy. <laughs> what, what are you doing? If I phone children's aid, you get in trouble. I might get into a little bit of trouble. But I know that it's going to take them 23 minutes to get here. In that time, somebody gonna get a hurt real bad.